So we have for the the finals. This the final countdown for the ten grand. Is that a fly on his mat? Yes, it is. Um, I don't think any of them has noticed. A uh, fly. Yeah, there's a fly on Stephen's mat over there, but it's gone now. He chased it away. <laughs> Wait, it went away by himself. Um, yeah. So this this is it. Uh, we've got Philip Franken versus uh, Stephen Schriebusch. Um, the weird concoction versus Ramin Up Red. The rogue. Uh, John Key, yeah. And. Yeah, this uh, hopefully an interesting match. Um, but we'll see. I think both players have finished. They're still busy inspecting each other's lists. Um, yeah, but uh, I think they are. They are both. I think they're ready to go. Um, both of them seem to be ready. I believe Philip is the top seed here. Hmm. No, he was first though. Oh, sure. Uh, so Stephen, Stephen was is, first. Is yeah. Top seed. He's got the advantage going in. He's gonna need it. Uh, his name is not Sean Wells, by the way. Uh, let's just uh, correct those names. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah. No, it took me a whole minute to get that one. Uh, so yeah, it's a uh, Stephen. <laughs> Steven Schliebusch versus Philip Franken. Uh. Cool, so here we go. Looks like they are one, two, three, two lands for Philip and a whole bunch of. One and two drops. Steven's got Whoa. a Patra, which is exceptional against this deck. Um, makes everything small. If, but if he's, can stick, but he's, he's, not, he's not happy with his hand. Um, not happy at all. Steven is it one is green, one black, put a minus one counter, get a snake? Uh, well, whenever she hits, deals combat damage to a, a player. You shrink a creature, and whenever a creature gets shrunken, then... You, you get a, a snake. snake. Yeah. Stephen going down to six. <laughs> Philip commenting that every, everyone probably read Scorpion God. Yeah. No one knows what it does. One, two, three, Philip also four, not 100% five, six, sure. We're saying that he isn't. Oh yeah. That's not uh, relevant right now. Steven sees a Ronus. Uh, he's keeping. Steven. He's keeping sitting right. up top. He's got two lands. He's got a Ronus. He's got Amitel. He's got a Hazaret. Um, he's got to walk the plank. Bank. Mountain. And so a wizard. Past the turn. Does he have removal? No? Oh. Pow, three damage. Three, boom. Land. Oh, he bought him the key to the city. That makes sense. What is he playing here? Amit. Amit is big. Boom. I think Philip could definitely kill it here. Yeah. Two spells and it dies. Shock. And lightning strike. And in for three again. I think maybe he attacks in first, um, and whatever gets blocked, yeah. probably see. he can't block with the one toughness. If he blocks the one toughness creature, maybe he spends both. But I don't think Philip's too sad about losing the Kenra. So if actually if, if shocks lightning strikes, that's in for five. Probably mm, a trigger. But twice. I think he's more interested in not 
letting the the Amit Eternal stay on the table. Maybe let's let's see. I mean, every spell he plays makes it smaller. Uh, but yeah. Every time it hits, it gets back to normal size. So we'll see. I feel like Philip attacks here and then sees where the blocks are. If he blocks the Soul Scar Mage, all he has to do is Lightning Strike it. It'll get four minus one minus one counters, and the Soul Scar yeah. Mage will be big enough to attack through it. Oh, shock, shock. You. Target Steven. Prowess trigger on the Soul Scar Mage. And it's dead. Two in prowess four, triggers. Five. That's in for five. And he's done for his turn. His dice are still there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so not plus one, plus one counters, because that would be a bit... Uh, Redonks. Does Steven have Ruska's Contempt up? Is it double black? He's got double black. He can play the Dreadlands. Um, it doesn't look like Philip has any more creatures in hand. Uh. Uh. Ronus is up. Oh, it's an uncropped crasher. Not that he was blocking anyway. I don't think that was the correct play, uh, putting down the Ronus. Yeah. Like having Ronus contempt of Because middle. that's nine. nine. And he's got that's six point of damage on the battlefield. Oh. And that. That is dead. One, seven. two, got three, seven. seven. I think, what's the last card in Philip's hand? Oh, so it's a scavenger grounds or something. Ground. Awkward! Awkward! Ah, uh, you can't live here. That's terrible. Yeah, not much can do that. Okay, well... <laughs> Steven definitely has Ran to... Ram a nap. Rick. Ram and nasty. Get ramming up wrecked. That's funny. I like that one. I think I'll use it in the future. Get ramming up wrecked. <coughs> oh gosh. This deck list is broken again. What is Steven bringing in? Mm, a little uncertain about what his choices are here. Uh, what do you think? He's got the Death Gorge Scavengers. Yeah, I think that's it, really. Doesn't have much about that. Uh, Frasco's Contempt is, is a source of life gain. Um, yeah, nothing. He's got to drop his curve big time, and the best he can do is play yeah. the gifted Etherborn that's in his sideboard. Um, our scrutiny is pretty good. Uh, I would put it in. Death Gorge Scavenger is also nice. It's a source of life gain. Uh, but what to take out? You know, I don't like the Scorpion Guard here. Although the additional value it generates later yeah. is good. Uh, that's if he gets to if late he gets game there. This is five or six five mana. Um, uh, I think you keep the Vraska's Contempt in. Maybe he cuts both of the Scorpion Guards. Uh, and the Samut or the Vraska. Yeah, that, that, those seems like easy cuts. And you can put in the Etherborns and the Death Gorge Scavengers. No, I mean, scrap out, scrap you can't even block, so that's yeah. a pointless. Possibly some Vraska's Contempt. He's got a little bit of life gain, and it's a relatively aggressive deck, so you could maybe try and race for them. Yeah. Um, I mean, the turtle is huge. It is, is five power for three mana, but with the amount of spells that, that Philip plays, it might just die before it gets to do is anything. Is it spell or non-creature spell? I think it's Any anything. Spell, yeah. You just play a thing yeah. and it gets smaller. Let's find out. Oof. 
Puh. Uh, Steven is not on 2. He's currently on 20, actually. Yeah, it's just a spell, any spell. Whenever a opponent casts a spell, shrink, I'm at eternal. Gets a minus one, mm. minus one counter. Become small. Why are you so small? What does Philip bring in? That, that is a question, actually. Oh, I do have the deck list here. What am I even not showing you people for? What do you mean, you people? <laughs> uh, Sand Strangler? What do you mean, you people? Yeah. It's nice. Sand Strangler. It's a good finisher. I mean, he's got don't block on two, don't block on three, don't block on four. Yeah. That's real good. Yeah. Harsh Mentor for the activation. There's not things. much here. Hazaret, maybe? And I don't think it's going to be too good, the Harsh Mentor. Um. Magma spray? Wait, does Harsh Mentor hit key to the city? I think it's... I don't know. Isn't it any activated ability? Except if it's mana? Or oh, Planeswalkers or something like that. Hmm. <laughs> Philip muttering to himself about it. <laughs> Harsh Mentor says... Artifact creature or land. So yes, it does, it does hit key to the city. Um... That's pretty good, actually. Hmm. So that comes in. Yeah, I just sand strangler. Even Magnus Prayers could do work as well. Uh, it hits Death Corp Scavenger as it comes down, which yeah. is an efficient answer. Uh, he's got no reason to put in the 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 Chandra's defeat. And hits summit. Mm. That's about it. Mm. One summit. Does yeah. he? Does he bring? I mean, it's dead otherwise. Yeah. Uh, combat celebrant. It touches the scorpion god. Funny. One walk the plank main board is very interesting. I I think I like it. Um, it's just that you have to be playing a lot of black sources yeah. to be able to reliably cast it. Um, so in a three color deck, maybe not too many, but it is versatile. It kills most of everything. Yeah. There is no big merfolk deck in the meta. There isn't a particularly good Merfolk card that just gets played because it's that good. Yeah. So, for the moment, Walk the Plank is a reasonable removal spell. Guys, shuffled up. Mm. Well, I think they're about ready to go. Steven Cutting, to play and here. let's check Whoops. the first. I saw something, although I don't know what I saw. <laughs> it was a card from Steven's deck. It was a magic card. Could be any one of these 75 yeah. things in his list. Let's check the 7. Rasadan. Oh, no, Steven, sit forward. I can't see your hand. Uh, oh, that's a Perhaps very. Perosudo. He's got a 1 drop. One, two. He's got a two drop. He's got a three drop. He's got a glory bringer. He has a curve. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a curve. Steven looks like his mulligan. Hmm. You need a specific hand to, to red. stop the yeah. raid in the beginning of the game. I want four toughness. I want two yeah. removal spells. I want some kind of life gain. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, just all the removal. You can run them out of creatures before they hit you for too much damage. Yeah. Good. Down to six. Scrazz land. Does he keep it on top? Yes, he does. At some removal, there's a Vasquez Contempt in there. Pew! Pew pew! Oh no. Droid in for one. Roger, roger. <laughs> Roll in my ramming up cards. What is that thing called? Bomac Courier. Rolls in the Bomac Courier. And every side of its dice says one. Yeah. 
Two. He doesn't play his two drop. Does he have a two drop? Is it a no. harsh mentor? Yeah. No. Oh, oh we made a mistake about that. Mm. Whipsy. No, it's not a harsh mentor. Oh, it's a hazard. Yeah, it's a hazard. He has a three drop. Ferocity down. That is also a big guy. A mm. large individual. Does he have the mana for the Vraska's Contempt? Great black back, yeah. No. He needs one more hand. next turn. Oh! Looks like an infinite dreadlands. Um, pings for one with his uh, desert. Put a card down. Put a card sideways. Here we go. Play a thing. Attack with a thing. Get a thing under my thing. Getting all those things, things. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, stuff and things. Uh, it looks like he's got the land. There's a play. GRS in hand. Is that? No, that's a tracker. No, what is that? I am not certain. Um, we will see. He's got an infinite dreadlands. Maybe that's what he drew off the top. Uh, he does need to play it. I mean, uh, he's playing a three drop. It's an Amit Eternal. That's what it was. Uh, maybe you should put down a land as well. I'm not not certain. Okay, is he playing a land? Damage. I think he's just deliberating which one. You know. Tax for five. Wow! Oh, getting right back at you. That is brave. I will see your five with my five. What are we actually looking at? You like how much damage could Philip be representing? Assuming we know nothing about his hand, uh, he could play a land, play a four drop. Sand Strangler shoots the Amit Eternal, doesn't kill it. Um, he could play a Soul Scar Mage and burn it to death. Um, and I suppose he's not in, in five damage range just yet. He doesn't have few enough co yeah. few enough cards in hand to make the Hazard threatening just yet. So it's a maybe reasonable thing for Steven to do. Gots to think about what you gotta do next. I got to attack with my creatures. Uh, but it is a big wall. <laughs> yeah, I bet the tell is huge. It's really big. Land. It's a legitimate clock. <laughs> you can attack with Suppose you can put next turn if Philip doesn't do something. Yeah. Glorybringer um, and a. <laughs> Two lands at the back there. Attack for one. Steven blocks. Do I one damage. It's going to be Strangler into... Ooh, that's one damage on him. So that's four. Plays oh, not a, quite. Plays a Land Strangler minus one. Three damage mm, goes No, you can kill it with the Sand Strangler. Um, all those cards gone. Stay... Boom! Yep, 13 damage, it. 3. 13. And I mean, 3 Philip damage. Loses a life. How did that happen? <laughs> the oh, right. Menace. The menace guy obviously got through. Yeah. And then the next is a glory bringer, <laughs> which is going to clear the board again. Wow. Is Philip's life total correct? Yes. He took 5, he took 1. That's his lifetime. Yeah. No, but it, it took one. Yeah. Hmm. Another one? Oh, it's a death court scavenger. I would Trump like a some life. Crizio. He's not doing anything about the... Well, Steven's on 11. 11, yeah. I think that's 3, 4, 5, 6... 
That's 10 damage coming in after the glory bringer. Does he have a glory bringer? Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> Gets rid of the scavenger. Boom. Take one to eight. Pretty awkward. That harsh mental should have come down a lot earlier, don't you think? Uh, yeah, for now. I mean, it seems not, not that important right now. Oh, feels so bad not holding up Raska's contempt. <laughs> Okay, Philip's on eight here. Took a damage from his from his angry dino. His angry dino is like, I want to be the only one on the battlefield. That is correct. Puts him to one, that's ten. All the way down <clears> to <throat> one. And I think that's it. Play a land to kill yourself. I mean a creature. I don't see what he's got here. In, uh, GG's. Philip takes Philip final. it. Philip Franken. Philip the final is Franken. Oh, uh, I think he'll be taking his ticket to London. Um, Playing on that side, we hope to see him on camera at a, a much bigger event. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Ramming Philip. up red. Yeah, good job, man. Um, Piloting Ramming up to the top there. Sweet. That is... Well, that's it. The Luck Shack Standard Finals done. Yeah, that's the Invitational Weekend. Yeah. Um, all of the games are up. Well, not all of them. I'm uploading today's still, but uh, by the time you watch this, they will all be up because yeah. this is the last one. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you, Don. Uh, thank you, Chris. For You're a weird, funny guy. Yeah, I know. It's been awesome. Cool, bye. Cheers, X.